Hi, welcome to Calm in Action. My name is Michael Haig. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer at Nutanix. Are you tired of doing boring, repetitive IT tasks? If so, the new features in Calm 3.0 called Endpoints and Runbooks will be really interesting to you. This is actually the third part of a three-part series. So if you haven't viewed the previous two on Endpoints and Runbook tasks, I definitely recommend you go check those out first and then come back here. In this one, we're actually going to be executing our runbooks, seeing the results of all of our various tasks, and getting an overall history of all the runbooks run in our environment. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm in Prism Central. Let's go ahead and navigate to Services, Calm, and we're going to go to the runbook section. So I'm going to select our same Linux example runbook. In the last video, we viewed this editor. So let's cover the overview and the configuration pages real quick. On the overview, we see that we do have a project selected. Recall during the endpoints video, I mentioned that all of endpoints and runbooks adhere to Calm RBAC. So that's where we see our given project. We also have other information as far as who created the runbook, uh, when it was last updated and last executed. So we see I actually ran this a couple minutes ago and we'll view the results of that in just a moment. On the configuration page, we have the option to add credentials or any variables. So we added credentials for a given endpoint during the endpoint video. So we don't actually have to add separate credentials here. Uh, depending on use cases, you may need to. Uh, but when we actually go to execute this, it's going to use the built-in credentials from when we added our endpoints. We also see that we have a default endpoint. When I go to execute this now, we also have the option to choose which endpoint we want to run this against. Recall during the editor video, we had the option of choosing an endpoint or not. For most of those, we left them blank other than one HTTP task. So that means it's going to run against the endpoint we select here. Again, unless we had it overridden at the task level. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit execute. And we can sit here and monitor the results of this. But in the interest of time, let's go ahead and view our execution history. So we can get an overview of every single runbook that was executed on this page. And I'm going to go ahead and select the one I ran a couple of minutes ago. So when you select a runbook, regardless of if it was successful or if it failed, you can come in and select any of these tasks. And you can get an overview of what happened during that task. So if you ran into any issues with your runbook, this is really helpful to figure out what went wrong. And when it's successful, it's also good to see that everything worked as expected. So for example, on this decision task, we have an exit code zero, and that shows that it went through the CentOS upgrade. That was because we ran it against the CentOS endpoint. And then any task that doesn't get run, we see here is grayed out. The other thing I want to call out is the while loop. So we saw earlier during the endpoints video that we had an exit on success. So we see here on the iterations, we're actually exiting as a failure up until our iteration variable was six, which was the seventh iteration. And we see that here it finally exited success and didn't continue on with the while loop, even though there were technically a couple of iterations left. And at last we have our API call. Again, want to call this out because it, it's running against a different endpoint, our HTTP endpoint. So we can get an overview of that as well. Before we go, I do want to show you one other item. If we go to the runbook section and I want to go to the execution history and view Windows patching. So I'm going to put this runbook in the comments of the YouTube video. This was built by a colleague of mine, uh, but I just want to show you how powerful the runbook construct can be. So this runbook will go ahead and patch your Windows servers regardless of their version or what sort of software they have installed. So it'll detect any software that's installed and will update that software accordingly. So again, check out the comments of the YouTube video uh, for a link to this runbook. So all you have to do once you have it downloaded is come to the runbook section and click the upload runbook button. All right, well, I hope it's really obvious how endpoints and runbooks can save you a ton of time. Uh, and eliminate those boring tasks in IT. So you just simply spend some time up front, uh, create your automation, and then every time you initiate that, you're saving a ton of time. So I hope you found this video useful. If so, be sure to subscribe. Again, my name is Michael Haig, and have a great day.